You ready to talk about uh, Texas Chainsaw? Or is it Texas Chainsaw 3D? I didn't watch it in 3D. Uh, did you guys watch this in 3D? <laughs> uh, no. uh, yeah, I did. Really? No. <laughs> I don't know. You go to movies and stuff. Yeah. I seen it in the theater years ago. You saw it yeah, in, I know. In, in 3D in, in the theater? theater? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Did, did they have the actual... Was this during the actual 3D conversion where you had the heavy-duty glasses yeah. jump all? Yeah, okay. So, they, I mean, what did it look good or did it look shitty? I mean... In, not really. I mean, for me, it doesn't. It, it, of course, it looks shitty. The whole movie's shitty. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not good. I was just I asking if the special, you know, three D effects know. looked all right. I know. I know. It seemed yeah. like they only played with that a couple times. I don't know. Um, yeah, but anyways, this is from 2013. Uh, a young woman travels to Texas to collect an inheritance. Little does she know that an encounter with a chainsaw wielding killer is part of the reward. Um, directed by John Lucenhop. I didn't see anything that I recognized on his credentials. Uh, written by Adam Marcus, who did Jason Goes to Hell, so that's part of the problem. Deborah Sullivan, uh, who is Adam Marcus's wife. And then Kristen Elms and Steven Susco, who did... Well, there, uh, yeah, there's too, there's too many writers. Yeah. They don't really yeah. matter. They could have been really pretty good writers, and they, it probably still would have got messy. Yeah, Stephen Susco four, worked like four, on the Grudge movie. Four different writers. Yeah, four. four. And they still messed up the story. Like they still had so much <laughs> wrong. How does it get by four writers? How do these mistakes get by four writers? Yeah. That, well, it's there's mistakes from Jump Street, but do you have any information on the release in case anyone oh, wants uh, to pick this up yeah. and for their collection? <laughs> Tagline, Evil Wears Many Faces, distributed by Lionsgate and on Blu-ray, same oh. year, 2013. Um, Tagline should just be fucking no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right off the bat, though, the issues I have with it are how they inserted Bill Mosley in the old footage from the first film. Uh, mm -hmm. It looked completely out of place and wasn't even needed. It was completely unwarranted. Um, and then they show the interior of the house and there are all these new fucking people in there that, I mean, you got fucking, uh, Gunnar Hansen's in there for some mm -hmm. reason. He's just a regular guy. It seems like there's nothing twisted about him. He's just like a hillbilly or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't know why, I don't know why they did that. <laughs> they weren't present at the end. They, this is supposed to be a direct sequel from the first movie, from what I read why Why would you answer all those extra people for no fucking reason? And it, kill it, them takes off. Place, <laughs> it takes place 10 minutes after the yeah. original ends. And don't mm -hmm. give and Bill Mosley any credits. In the house. I don't want to see Bill Mosley on the front of this fucking movie because he's in it for five minutes and he barely says anything. Uh, he's not even in it for five minutes. But yeah, yeah. He, he, he doesn't do a good job. No, no, he no. does. He does not act like Drayton Sawyer. He's not Drayton Sawyer. No, um, I I did laugh out loud at, at one point whenever Leatherface takes his chainsaw, cuts the van's tire, and then you see a, a shot. The shot they chose to use for this is just from behind Leatherface. You see this van go and just jump. <laughs> and, it, and it turns on the side and I, that's hilarious that's some naked gun shit right there um that was 3d frank oh i bet yes. that was 3d yeah yeah it was it was i did think it was cool that they showed leatherface sewing uh his mask to his face i mean i never really thought about how he keeps that thing on but that's a cool a gruesome way to do it um but there's a moment in this movie essentially what happens is um essentially what happens is this girl inherits this house uh, and it's the leather fee. It's the whatever family name they've given them in this. I don't know what they've chosen, but Sawyer's Sawyer's, Sawyer's. There's two, sure. there's two clans. Remember? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nobody uh, does, but he, this, he shut it off halfway through yeah. this, <laughs> this girl. She, <laughs> her friends are getting killed by Leatherface through the whole movie. There's no other family except for him. It's just, him. they're not really her friends though. We find out through the movie. One's her boyfriend shitty. though, right? No. Yeah, well, he's cheating on her. They're shitty <laughs> friends, but still, but still they're terrible people. They're but, terrible people. But still, she's very cool with like, she's not even that fucking freaked out whenever Leatherface is wearing that dude's face around. <laughs> but, uh, at, so she decides, 
Yeah. <laughs> she finds out that, uh, you know, they're related and he'll protect her and all this stuff. And at the end of this movie, she throws him a chainsaw. Yeah, she sa- does. And says the line. Do your thing, cuz. Do your thing, cuz. Do, 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 do your thing, cuz. Do your thing, right. cuz. Which I say, fuck this movie. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? Um, I think in a, in a cool sort of alter- alternative universe sort of way, this is uh, interesting, kind of like the same thing. Uh, Jake says Jay- no. Same, sa- then the same way that uh, Jason goes to hell is an interesting project. You know, it's uh, an interesting idea. Um, I don't want this to be the legacy of these films, so I'm very glad that they didn't continue the trajectory that they did. But I believe that the, the next one we're going to talk about was linked to this uh, so for some reason. But there are a lot of people that approved <clears throat> this movie being made. I mean, Marilyn Burns is in it. Uh, uh, Gunnar Hansen, Bill Mosley. I mean, these are people from the franchise. Uh, but, yeah. You know, I think it's enjoyable enough to watch one time, uh, but the ending is very reminiscent of a movie we watched on this show called uh, Slaughterhouse. Uh, like the ending reminded me exactly. Slaughterhouse is better. But doesn't, <laughs> the, doesn't the ending right, of this yeah. seem a lot like they ripped it straight from that? Uh, I give it a yeah. 6 out of 10. Uh, Jason, what do you think? Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, I liked that they had the cameos in there. Um, even though those the characters that they're playing didn't need to be there. Um, the highlight for me for this movie is seeing Leather run through the fair or the carnival. Oh yeah. That was cool. Like that that was was a great scene. Like that's definitely what that they, you know, that's when they used a chainsaw throw at the the screen for the 3d. So that, that kind of took me out of it, but that whole scene there, that's, that's pretty cool. I liked him seeing, seeing him out in the real world. Um, the the actors, the, the characters, the production, the concept, everything was there, but the writing, this is a complete writing failure. Like, what? I, so on my phone, like, I make little notes on my voice recorder as I'm watching the movie. And I, I died laughing when I went back and listened to it because you could hear how, like, lost I was. I'm like, what year is this movie supposed to be made? Like, I really <laughs> sound like I had no idea what was going on. But, yeah, so, like, the timeline doesn't just that it doesn't add up this the girl would have been like close to 40 years old by mm-hmm. now leather would have been 60 years old um and like he's still moving around pretty good in this movie like i don't believe he's 60 that she's 20 years old not yeah close to 40 at the latest this movie should have been in in the 90s right and that's kind of what i thought Right, that's, it should have been in the good. '90s, and, and then, but then, and then you got them FaceTiming during the movie, like it just it, on the tombstone it says when what, the year she died was 2012, like that doesn't. So why do you have a 20 year old girl? If this if this girl was yeah. a baby in '73, she should be like 40 years old now. 39. Right? Right? The uh, the, yeah. actual, the actual math she would have uh, she would have been 39. And in the movie, if yeah. she were, that got by four writers. Like, how does that happen? Like, that's mm. just, it's a complete failure in that sense. Um, I get, again, this is my second watch on this movie. Um, again, it, the production and stuff, it's there. Like, they, they did a good job with that. Um, I, four. I give it a four just for the production value. John Paul, what do you say? Man, I'm the asshole. <laughs> I know I'm you like this. I do. I enjoy this movie. It is a lot of fun. And, I, and I'll tell you why, why this was fun. Because even though, yes, there, there was shit that did not add up like the ages and shit, but the fact that they tried something new. Yeah, with, I give it with, that. With a new studio, even. Because this was the studio that, you know, brought Saw and all of the, you know, those movies and decided to to tackle on Texas Chainsaw Massacre because New Line said, you know, said we, we can't do it. Let's do let's give it to somebody else a try. And then I like the fact that they brought back the cameos. I was happy to see Gunner more than anything else. I was like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. And and this the the, the main actress, I forget her name right now, 
I mean, I, I feel bad for her because she tries so hard to be in a lot of different movies and in horror movies lately, and she just can't get out of anything. She's just like, oh, it's the her. She's in whatever, and people are like, yeah, she's not going anywhere. <laughs> But the movie was, was enjoyable for me. I don't know. I like the alternative universe, like you, you put it. it. It was fun. I, I give it an eight. <laughs> but the story, like, I, it, it's just, that's unforgivable. I, I get me. you, like, Jason. I know. I understand what you're saying. How, there, like, you there, talked about how the story didn't progress in the, in the remake, yeah. 2003. This one it completely butchers its own story. Well, I mean, at least it tried to... To give you a new part of story. I mean, hell. Before, uh, how does that get by four writers? Rob, Rob Zombie, yeah. happens. Rob Zombie did the same kind of story with this when he did his remake of uh, Halloween. If you really look at it, it's the same thing. The, the whole Jamie character ends up being, you know, a distant yeah. relative. Yeah, and, I... I think so, that there, if you look at it, like there is a lot of story in this. I mean, and, there's a lot I of stuff. Wanna, I just wanna also want to say that Rob Zombie should not write anything ever again. <laughs> just, just direct movies. You're good at directing movies. Just don't right. write. Yeah. I like a few of them. I, I mean, like Thirty One. Yeah. Thirty One's a blast. Yeah. Oh, I haven't watched that one yet. But, anyways, uh, let, let's go. Movie. <laughs> oh, uh, let's. What did you think, Ray? What, what's your thoughts? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I did not like this at all. Um, I mean, I, I had a. It was more fun to watch than uh, the beginning, I guess, because I had no idea what the fuck was happening. I'm kind of like Jason. I'm like, what year is this supposed to be? <laughs> Who are these so people? Confusing. That yeah, like it opens up. The beginning is amazing. Like it starts off, I'm like, "Oh, I'm gonna dig the fuck out of this," and then, and then that just stops, and it's this other thing. And I'm like, I, I actually laughed out loud when she was like, you know, gave him the chainsaw and was like, "Get him, cuz." I was like, "Yeah, like, that's the most no, Texas no one chainsaw thing." Yeah, that's awesome. yeah, that it, that happened. Oh, I said that. I, man, I very much mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. I, I missed it. I missed yeah. it. I mean, I laughed my ass off because I was like, that's reminiscent of old shit, you know, like, uh, get them cuz, ah, you know, like, it made me laugh right up. Um, and then, like, yeah, fuck all these people, Frank. The, the boyfriend's cheating on her in the fucking barn when she's getting chased. They all deserve to die. They're that's terrible yeah, people. Th they do, but, but they were, okay, they were crappy people, but they were her friends that she <laughs> went there with. Right. And then some monster slays all of them. <laughs> yeah, think about your then worst she, friend. She, she decides she find she's going to stay there and take care of him. Think you about your, your cousin, though. Th you know? think, think about your worst friend, Ray. <laughs> like, the person that you can think of as, like, an, more of an acquaintance. Yeah. Like, imagine if you're with them someplace, and they get killed. And then you find out that the killer is your cousin, but he looks like Leatherface. Do you they go kill with all him? your friends? <laughs> yeah. Oh, killed all of you. I'm staying alive. All of you are dead. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm gonna stay and take care of him. But anyways, uh, the ending is terrible. That's what I was saying. Yeah. I, yeah. But yeah, it, the, I kept waiting for it to like make some sort of sense. First off, they've killed the entire police force. Nobody's gonna forget that. They go back to the <laughs> same house. What? He's just gonna go back to his basement, and she's gonna feed him people food. You know? Yeah. I mean, and why? Why? Yeah. Is, why is the Who's is the white guy the mayor? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so why is he giving the no, telling that the guy's, deputy what that, to do? Yeah, he was the mayor. The guy why, that's the guy from office space that gave her the keys? That wasn't the mayor. No. The guy that's telling her what the deputy to go hat, in the house. And oh, he's okay. on the thing. He's like, Go in there, Billy, and he you right. go take your gun. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why is he mayor. telling a deputy what to do? Why is he exactly. listening to a mayor? And, and I mean, he, he was fucking terrible too. Texas, that's why. He made me laugh. Right. Right. That was one of my other favorite lines, and then I'll give it the rating and be done. He comes running in. He's like, some seven-foot son of a bitch is running our fair. And oh, yeah. Laugh, you know, really hard. So I gave it a six out of ten. It was what it was. I will never watch it again. I don't need to. 
Yeah, that um, that mayor guy. He was at the beginning. He he's been fucking with the police the whole time because he doesn't give a shit about him at all. He's been yeah. cu- he's been cucking that black sheriff forever. <laughs> like like yeah, I'm just here. We're going to kill. We're going to kill all these people. And then yeah. he fucking kills them. And then nothing happens. And then he becomes mayor. He's like uh, Biff Tannen in some right. ways. But and let's um, not forget that Clint Eastwood's son is in this. That's oh, right. That yeah. Who was that he? Is, he was the sheriff's uh, deputy, the okay. young guy. Okay. No yeah. one, an um, extra. Yeah. Yeah. I know. The we, uh, one of the other weird things I noticed about this is the guy from Office Space that gives her the keys, the lawyer. Um, <laughs> he could have told her, you know, he knew. <laughs> like the whole time he could have like, cause she even goes, he's like, you're bringing people with you. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, all right, well, whatever. Yeah. You could have right then. <laughs> what did right the, letter, <laughs> the letter from the grandma too. Yeah, it's the letter from yeah. the grandma. Dearest baby that was disappeared a long time ago. I could have helped. Uh, yeah. uh, I didn't help you. Uh, please come and take care of your crazy <laughs> psychopathic <laughs> cousin who's now living in the basement. <laughs> they pick uh, our jabs. Yeah, uh, I was yeah. expecting her to throw a fucking diamond necklace in the ocean at the end. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was that was Marilyn Burns that played that role. Um, <laughs> Jake, what did you give this movie? A uh, fucking two. Okay, <laughs> I hate this yeah. movie. The the only the I honestly I give it a two simply because like the the cameos are the only thing that I enjoyed about it. Um, and what's funny is uh the first time uh. I saw saw this. I hated it, and then, and then I had to watch it uh, earlier today. And uh, I'm so glad that you guys brought up the scene at the end with the uh, the chainsaw and the cuz. Because the the only thing I I rooted for the first time, and I I don't know why I still rooted for it this time was I was just hoping he was gonna turn and just fucking just just right off of her head. Just to, been way cooler, right? Oh my god, I'd have been like, this is the greatest movie ever made. If yeah. she's like their cousin, he just looks at it. And just fucking turns and off like like that yeah. was fucking great like that would have redeemed a lot of the things that happened oh absolutely I'd have been like greatest movie ever made like totally didn't see that coming but other than that this movie was complete shit uh, yeah. I hate it I mean, I that line was like post your bets from Freddy versus Jason in the previews yeah yeah 